and welcome back to our Bible story time. I'm so glad that you're here today. We read the stories from the Lectionary Story Bible each day, and these stories are by Ralph Milton, who has given generous permission for us to share them. Today we're reading a story called the Ten Commandments. Those are some things you might have heard before, and they come from Exodus 19 and 20. They're actually a continuation of the story of Moses that we've been reading for the last few days. Three months after God helped the Hebrew people get away from Egypt, they came to a place called Sinai. There was a high mountain in Sinai. One day, God asked Moses to come up the mountain. I want you to give a message for the people of Israel, God said to Moses. Remember how I brought you out of Egypt? I carried you out like a mother eagle carries her baby. Remember the promises I made to your great, great, great grandparents? I promised that you would be a great nation. I promised that many years from now, people would learn about me because of you. But you must do the things I ask you to do. So Moses went back and told all the people to gather near the mountain. God has some very important things to tell us, and we have to be ready to listen carefully. Don't try to come up the mountain with me. Just wait at the bottom. You will be able to hear God's voice. So the people gathered near the mountain. At the top of the mountain, they could see smoke and fire. They could hear thunder. Everything shook like an earthquake. Moses went up the mountain into the smoke and the fire. There, God told him 10 important things to remember, and we call them the Ten Commandments. I am the Lord your God. I brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Don't pretend that there are any other gods. I am the only one. Don't make pictures or statues or anything else that you think might look like me. Don't bow down to them or pray to them. Be careful how you use my name. When you speak my name, you must really mean what you are saying. Remember the Sabbath day, the seventh day of the week. Work on the other six days. Rest on the seventh day and make it a special day. Treat your mother and your father with respect. Be good to them. Don't kill anyone. Don't have sex with anyone you're not married to. Don't steal. Don't tell lies about anyone. Don't wish you had things that belong to other people. The people were afraid when they saw the smoke and heard God's voice, but they said thank you to God. They were glad to know how to live in God's way. I'm so glad that you could join us for our story time today, and I hope we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.